to her ensemble. Welcome back, everybody. I am joined now by Tara Lipinski and Johnny Weir, our fashion experts. But not only that, you guys also have some history when it comes to horse riding. Is that right, Johnny? That's right. Both of us rode when we were very young, and I actually was uh, an English saddle rider and jumped and showed at Devon and had a beautiful horse named Shadow. And I had Moon Ray, but I had to choose between skating or the horse. I think I chose right, but I miss Moon Ray. <laughs> I think you guys both made the right choice. Well, everybody fell in love with you during the Sochi Olympics. We were listening to your analysis, but also watching what you were wearing. So let's talk about some of the trends that we should be seeing this weekend, starting with hatinators. Am I saying that right? That's right. What a is that? It's, you know, it's, it's a cross between the classic derby hat and a fascinator that we saw at Prince William's wedding, for example. And um, I really think that Tara Lipinski had a part in bringing this back because she wore it in Sochi. But it's it's really good for weaving through this uh, huge crowd we have on hand. And, and it's so fashionable and chic. Yeah, I love fascinators. They can be modern and chic, like Johnny said. But then at the Derby, you have to wear a hat. So you just mash it up into one. The next trend that we want to highlight, statement jewelry, which we've seen a lot of today. Yeah, I love statement jewelry. The one thing I would be, and Johnny does it so well, if anyone does it. <laughs> and this one over here. <laughs> well, you're doing it per perfectly Thanks. because you do the classic look and there's not too much. If the hat is too crazy and the dress is too crazy, you don't want to go too crazy with the accessories. So. so the Kentucky Oaks, all about pink, of course. We've all done a pretty nice job with that. But pink and bright pink in particular, Johnny, is a big trend this weekend. Well, I feel like winter was terrible for so many people around the country that everyone's celebrating the season everyone loves that hot pink moment just to break off shake off that snow and get back into spring and summer i mean we're in the south it's summer i'm ready for color <laughs> okay so we know that the jockey silks are unique everybody has their own colors everyone has their own pattern so we're going to pick the one that you like the best and the one that you like the least let's start with the best one and that is uncle Sai. and as we take a look at that it goes to a great cause wounded warrior project has ownership of the horse and the proceeds from some of his earnings go to help veterans so that's a great way to be fashionable at the same time right it really is and, and to be honest i probably would have gone with that just because of the cause even if it was the worst looking one <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, don't ask me. Supporting a cause is always chic. Okay, now the worst one is actually the favorite for the Kentucky Derby, California <laughs> Chrome, but it's got a jackass on the actual silk itself. They're owned by dumbass partners. That's the reason why. But is that in fashion at all? I feel like humorous. No, it's humorous, <laughs> but no. These are thoroughbreds. They're the blue blood of the horses, and I don't think that they would appreciate that whole jackass moment but uh, California Chrome is awesome with his yellow bridle and, and he's yeah. so chic we met him earlier today he's like it's all about my talent doesn't matter what I'm wearing he's straight chic no jackass <laughs> is allowed in fashion Tom all right Carolyn and Jerry and I have been admiring Randy's outfit today up here on the booth who are you and Johnny picking? Okay, so I'm going with Unbridled Forever. Mm. I like the underdog aspect. I've been looking at my stats. Fingers crossed. <laughs> and I'm all about fashion plate because I'm me. <laughs> Tom, take us away. All right, well.